Sorry, gentlemen, I'm joining again because uh, interruption because of uh, light. Light is gone. My light was gone, and because of that, internet was disconnected. Now, please mute your mics. Mute your mics, everybody. Mute your mics. Please mute your mics, all of you. My light is gone and that's why this interruption took place. Sorry for that. So let us start again. So I hope you can see this. Uh, hello. You can see my uh, screen share. Can you see my yes, screen sir. share? Okay. Yes, sir. So there is a, a, a delivery turbine here. So right hand side is high pressure steam entering from the coming from the boiler and entering at this point. This is nozzle inlet. Nozzles are all around the wheel in the circumference. And this one is a view of cutover view of the blades. And left side is the exit of the steam from the blades. This is moving blade. You can see one set of nozzles and one set of moving blades is there. And this is called uh, uh, this is called delivery turbine or simple impulse turbine or single stage impulse turbine. So delivery turbine, simple steam impulse turbine or single stage steam impulse turbine, it is the name of same thing. And this is one of the uh, arrangement. The purpose of uh, what happens inside this is uh, uh, pressure drop takes place uh, from high pressure to low pressure inside the nozzle but there is no pressure drop inside the moving blade. The most important and permanent uh, uh, requirement of this type of uh, simple impulse turbine, impulse turbine of any type, is there is no pressure drop uh, inside the moving blades. Now, here is velocity profile, velocity from uh, in the nozzle at the inlet is almost zero, but at the outlet from the nozzle it is maximum, and inside rotating blades, velocity continuously decreases, and at the end it is minimum and there is remaining residual velocity delta c this delta c is actually not required because this carries energy c square by 2 is the kinetic energy taken by 1 kg of the steam so this should not be high this should be as minimum as possible so it depends on condenser pressure what is the condenser pressure up to that it will get reduced so uh, this is how this is called velocity profile and uh, pressure profile in simple impulse turbine. Now let's go what happens in the next type of turbine. Here, pressure and velocity diagram is shown in a three three stage impulse steam turbine. This is called retro turbine. Actually, this is um, uh, this is nothing but uh, uh, simple impulse steam turbine uh, in a series arranged in a series. So this is one set of nozzles and rotating wheel, this is another set of nozzle and rotating wheel, this is third set of nozzle. So one nozzle, one rotating wheel, nozzles are arranged uh, on the top with the, with, in the uh, they are hanging on a diaphragm, diaphragm is hanging with the, uh, with the casing of the turbine at the top. So they are just hanging here in the bottom, you can see it's not connected with the rotor, there's a gap between rotor and diaphragm. Now these discs, which uh, which uh, which contain nozzles at the top, uh, they separate two rotating, wheels, but they don't contact with rotating wheels or shaft. So uh, uh, there is a seal below it. So rubber seal. This is rubber or some other material seal, <coughs> which helps to stop this between diaphragm and the rotating wheel. So you can see the passages. This is nozzle, then rotating wheel, then again nozzle, then rotating wheel, then again nozzle, then rotating wheel. Nozzle and moving blades and diaphragms, uh, wheel and shaft is in front of you. In this diagram, now we'll see at the bottom, here is drawn uh, velocity profile and, uh, and, uh, and pressure profile. The steam enters from left in this set of nozzles, pressure drops up to this point. But in the moving blade and in the diaphragm, uh, space between two uh, moving threaded nozzles, is, which is called diaphragm. 
So this moving blade, in the moving blade and in the diaphragm area, there is no pressure drop, horizontal line. Then uh, after uh, entering into nozzle, pressure drops continuously until exit of the nozzle. And again, there is moving uh, row of the blades and there is a diaphragm. So in moving uh, nozzles and diaphragms, there is a no pressure drop. After this third row of nozzles comes, and in this nozzle again, third step of pressure drop takes place. And uh, after this pressure drop, uh, there is a moving blade, and in the moving blade, there is no pressure drop. You can it's like a step, one step down in one nozzle, then no, uh, uh, no pressure drop in moving blade, then another step down in the nozzle, uh, fixed nozzle, and then there's no pressure drop uh, in the moving blades. Then again, third pressure drop in the third row of nozzle, and there is no pressure drop in moving third row of moving blade. So this is called three stage, uh, three stage pressure compounded, uh, pressure compounded uh, impulse turbine, and this was in, uh, proposed by uh, uh, Reto. That's why it is called as Reto turbine. So now the second profile is velocity. You can see velocity at the entrance. To the nozzle, velocity is always zero, almost zero, and at the outlet of the nozzle, it is maximum. So this line shows velocity increase in the nozzle. Then velocity in the moving blade continuously drops because kinetic energy is converted into work, and then in the diaphragm area, there is no, no, no velocity change. Then again, velocity increases in the second row of nozzles, uh, reaches to maximum, and in the second row of moving blade, it drops again up to previous level then again there is no velocity change in the diaphragm. Again in the third row of nozzle, velocity increases to maximum and in the moving blade it drops to again previous level. So this is how these three uh, peaks you can see in the velocity diagram and this happens because there are three rows of wheels are there and velocity, uh, three rows of nozzles. In nozzles, at the outlet of nozzle velocity is maximum at the uh, outlet of the uh, uh, at the outlet of the uh, rotating wheel, velocity is minimum. So the pressure velocity distribution, the pressure component, three stage impulse turbine is in front of you. This is a retro, retro turbine. Now, this is another type of compounding. Compounding means uh, this is a simple composite compound. This simple means compound means Turbine to pechida karne majid majid stages add karke so that is why it is called compounding. So agar pressure ke liye compounding karne ek row nozzle ki ek row moving blade ki to pressure compounding kehlati aur agar velocity ke liye compounding karne yani ki ek se zyada rows hain jisme velocity drop hota hai to usko velocity compounding kehte hain. Now ye jo system hai ye aapko sab this is please mute your please mute your mic. Storage, mute, mute your mic, individual mic, in the zoom. Now, velocity compounded impulse turbine showing pressure and velocity variations. So, what is pressure? Uh, what is uh, 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 this is this is this is called two row velocity compounded impulse turbine. Why? Because you, you can see moving blade. This is the moving blade. So this, this is the moving blade. Moving blade has in here, you can see a fork at the top, there is a fork like two branches. So one one blade is here, one row of blade is this a blade row is smaller, this is bigger height, bigger height, and they are installed on the same wheel. So rotating wheel is one, but there are two. Blades. Please mute your mic. Now this is uh, uh, this is rot uh, rotating blades, and there are two rotating blades rotating at the same time. In between two rotating blades is a fixed blade row, and it is hanging in the ring. A ring itself is hanging uh, in, the sh in the shell or casing of the turbine. So in the beginning, there is one set of nozzles that is row all around the uh, all around the turbine, and this is uh, first rotating blade, then uh, fixed blade changing the direction and second blade. So this velocity 
and uh, pressure, uh, this is called a velocity component because uh, velocity is decreased twice in two rows of blades. So this is pressure profile in this turbine, you can see here. So oh, diagrammatic, diagrammatically nozzles are drawn like this and uh, moving wheels are drawn like this. You can see their direction is curved upward and this is moving blade, is, their direction is also curved upward. But we, in between, there is a row of fixed blades, which direction is curved downward. So this helps to change the direction like this. So in zigzag way, uh, steam flows in the actual direction. Now, pressure drop takes place in the nozzles continuously uh, at, up to the end of nozzle, but in rotating blades and fixed blades, there is no pressure drop. But velocity increases from zero to uh, maximum in the nozzle, and then it drops continuously in the rotating blade. In fixed blade, there is not much drop in the velocity, then in next row of rotating blade, further drop in velocity takes place, and at the end, there is a loss velocity. So this loss velocity is a loss of energy because this should not be there. We must drop velocity maximum possible so as kinetic energy should not be lost at the exit. So we must make use of kinetic energy inside the wheel. Now, this is the type of uh, uh, Curtis turbine which is called a two-row velocity compound. Two-row velocity compound. Now, this is the third arrangement. You can see this is combination of velocity compounding and pressure compounding. Here is pressure compounding because there are two sets of nozzle. One set of nozzle and one set of two row velocity compounded wheels. These are two row wheels, rotating wheels. So this is velocity compounding set and this is nozzle. So because there's another nozzle, so since two nozzles are arranged after uh, two row velocity compounding, so combination of, this is combination of both types, that is velocity compounding and pressure compounding. Here is velocity uh, profile and pressure profile. Pressure drops, pressure drops continuously in the nozzle, then remains constant in moving blades. And then uh, stationary blade also, there's no pressure drop. Next pressure drop takes place in second row of uh, two, row, uh, two row velocity compounded blades. So velocity increases velocity increases at the, uh, through the nozzle and then continuously drops, continuously drops in pair of rotating wheels. They're constant in between, uh, in the, uh, between the stages. And then again, it continuously drops, uh, uh, then it increases next set of nozzle and then it continuously drops uh, in first row of nozzle and then in, 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 in between two, uh, two row a moving uh, moving blade, there is uh, no pressure drop, uh, no velocity drop, but in the next row of the moving blades, there is a velocity drop, and at the end, there is a residual velocity, and this is called lost velocity or lost energy. So these are the three types of uh, compounding. Or, uh, these, the purpose of this compounding is to improve the efficiency of impulse turbine. Now, let me take another, maybe we are running short of time, but there is a little time, five minutes left. So we can start next uh, paper, like this one. So now I'm sharing with this next paper, and this is a revision of fundamentals of mechanics. Actually, the topic of this paper is power output of steam impulse turbine. How to calculate power output of steam impulse turbine? You should know your mechanics, fundamentals of mechanics. And, uh, and that is that will improve, that will uh, refresh your knowledge of mechanics. And after, once you improve your knowledge of mechanics, <coughs> uh, you may need vector, refresh your vector knowledge also. Here it is given vector uh, conventions. Then you must improve your knowledge of Trigonometry also, it will help you solve uh, the, uh, derive the relations and solve the problems. So these three fundamental things, which you have already studied in metric, inter, everywhere, you must divide. Mechanics, so I'll share, uh, I'll send you these uh, notes and you will see it in mechanics. Newton's law is revised, 
what is the formula of torque what is the formula of power these things are given how two vectors are added how two vectors are subtracted what is the velocity triangle how it is made so then there is cosine law and sine law uh, law of sines and law of cosines uh, which will help you to find if two sides are known you can find uh, uh, two sides and angle between them is known you can find their uh, third side so this is uh, this is knowledge is required to understand next uh, next topic which is analysis of simple steam impulse turbine the d level turbine and the objective of this lesson will be derive relationship of power output of steam impulse turbine so i think we will stop here <clears throat> tomorrow inshallah we will start from here so equation 11.3 of the book we will derive so with the help of these triangles these are called velocity triangles or blade diagram <clears throat> these are blade diagrams blade velocity diagrams so <clears throat> with the help of this uh, we can calculate uh, we can derive this okay. equation what is the formula of power output is m dot cb delta cw 11.3 somebody is not muting my instead of my repeated request this is very bad please do it Thank you.